the bad men. They are quiet. They call for blood no more. It's my grandmother's. You found it, sir. May I have it? I feel... I feel like a mist is leaving. Oh, thank you, sir. I have to... to live my life. It is begun. Have you heard the news about how? Everyone in Whoever you are, I... Wait. I know you. Poor Oswin obviously didn't recognize you. He described you in great detail, but never mentioned you were a Kuzland. I owe you his life. You see me at a loss. I suppose I have yet to recover from the shock of seeing Oswin. I am Ban Sigard of the Dragon's Peak Benorm, and I owe you a debt of gratitude for your kindness to my son. Is there anything you would ask as a reward for saving Oswin? Thank you again. Know that I will stand behind you at the lands meet with all the support I can muster. In fact, I am taking my supper today with Ban Reginelda of the White River Benorm. I'll speak with her about this at once. Have you heard the news about how? Everyone in the city has. Ryland must be pleased. At half. Wonderful. Another one. I suppose you're here to ask for a donation too. You're the youngest Kuzland, aren't you? Probably looking for coin or men to take your tear near back then. You're better off asking the Darkspawn. They hold West Hills now. Well, I can see how you might miss it. All of southern Ferelden covered by black clouds, the ground rotting beneath your feet, plagues and darkspawn raids going on until even the crows get sick of the smell of carrion. What's a little trifle like that when compared to the important troubles here in Denerim? There's no point talking about it. Leave me. I've nothing for you anyway. Oh, I can hardly speak ill There's of the sense more to or say. conscience of any man Pester simply for wishing else. Brendan how dare. You How tells your brother? I had hoped to see him while I was in town, but he's made himself scarce. May I help you? This is Ermenrix. Explain yourself. My brother would no more part with this ring than with his head. Loghain? What does my brother have to do with him? A 
dungeon? What? No. I will go to him at once. Someone will answer for this. You're Bryce Kuzlin's youngest, are you not? I thought I recognized you. Take this. It's been in my family for generations. Let it be a sign of the friendship between High Ever and Waking Sea. Let me know if you want some of my bowmen when you take back your Tairnir as well. Ah, uh, probably. You'll have to excuse me. I'm engaged. The captain sends his regards. Was that your daughter I saw in the market, Cryland? Have you heard the news about how everyone in the There's city... There's nothing more to say. must be paid. Dwarven crafts. Fine dwarven crafts. Direct from Orzammar. I haven't been here in a while. They've changed the dining room. Ask away. Of course. Hello again, Warden. It is good that you came to speak with me. First, let me say that I knew your family. Eleanor, in particular, was dear to me, and what Howe did was unforgivable. How fitting he died at your hands. I will be blunt. I can see that your voice will be a strong one in days to come. It is to you that Eamon listens, and with good reason. My father must be stopped, but once that is done, Ferelden will need a ruler. I would welcome your support for my throne. That is exactly what I am proposing. When the time comes, you support my bid in the lands meet to remain on the throne. You will be seen as my father's enemy, yet you will be in support of his daughter. You will be seen as supporting the interests of Ferelden, as opposed to solely those of the Grey Wardens. In return, I add my voice to yours. Do you see? Together we can do what alone we cannot. Ignoring that the man looks so much like Kaelin, my recently dead husband, if you'll recall, my main fear is that he might govern like Kaelin as well. But it is true that Alistair has their own blood. To some, this is more important even than practical considerations. A union might be considered a compromise, but is this something Alistair even desires? Let me say this. If Alistair is willing to stand back and allow me to continue governing the nation, then I would be willing to have him as my king. It is my understanding that governing does not appeal to him anyhow. If that is so, this is a compromise I can live with. 
Do so. I will be interested to hear what he has to say. So I'm guessing someone told Honora I was planning to steal her throne. She has a nasty glare. Did anyone mention this wasn't my idea? I think she's a great queen. As far as I'm concerned, she's welcome to it. I'm not a political man. I like being a warden. There's real evil out there, and it's something we can fight. It's something we can defeat. Making laws, settling disputes, that's not me. I wouldn't have the first idea how to do it. What do you think I should do? Go ahead and be king, just to let it happen? Marry her. As in marriage, as in be her husband. You've spoken to her about this? You did, didn't you? Why would you do that? Did you take a blow to the head? That's crazy. <sighs> yes, yes, I suppose you're right. The Landsmeet will probably see that too. Go ahead then. Tell her I'll do it if it comes to that. Now excuse me while I go have a small heart attack somewhere. No big deal, right? Excuse me, the Lady Queen has summoned me to see to her unmentionables. Well, not much. Just, may I air that for you, my lady? She's brought a maid of her own to wait on her. I beg your pardon, sir, but I really can't be seen standing about. The housekeeper will have my head. Good day. Well, have you spoken to my lucky betrothed yet? Or will we be reduced to passing notes? He has? I wasn't expecting that, to tell you the truth. To marry Kaelin's brother. Well, I suppose stranger things have happened. If it will truly help matters... Is this it then? I agree to marry Alistair, to retain my throne, and in exchange I give you my support. If not, then tell me now. Done. So, we have a deal, Warden. I trust you'll keep your end of the bargain. Now, I suppose, comes the task of dealing with my father. That will be no small feat, of course, but I am certain you already know this. I imagine you have much to do. Is there anything else you needed from me? I... No. And while I know your concern is hardly disinterested, still... Thank you. Hello again, friend. It looks as though you're no worse for wear after your stay in Fort Draken. When I'm well enough, I'm going to continue my journey toward Ostagar. Hopefully I'll be able to trace the heart of the Blight and where the Archdemon itself abides. If we want to defeat this Archdemon, we need to know where it is and how soon it might strike. Good luck to you, then. We will have to talk again when the lands meet is more settled. I haven't been here in a while. They've changed the dining room. Ask away. Of course. Ah, 
there you are. I was about to send out a search party. I have been hearing of a great commotion in the alienage. What exactly happened there? Make her forgive me. I should be appalled that such a thing could exist here. But I'm overjoyed you can implicate Loge. We must end the civil war quickly. What the Blight does not corrupt in this land, politics surely will. The last of our allies have arrived in the city. We cannot delay any longer. I will call for the Landsmeet to convene. Bring Alistair and join me at the palace as soon as you are ready, Warden. I hope Eamon doesn't expect me to give a speech. Magic exists to serve man and never to... Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. ...and turned it against his children. They shall be named. The client is very pleased. Come back soon. Warden, I am not surprised it has come to this. And Alistair, if you were even remotely worthy of being called Merrick's son, you would already be in the Land's Meet. Now wouldn't you? You have torn Ferelden apart to oppose the very man who ensured you were born into freedom. But do not think you will get past me to desecrate the Land's Meet itself. The nobles of Ferelden will confirm my lord as regent, and we can finally put this to rest once you are gone. I have had... so many doubts of late. Loghain is a great man, but his hatred of Orlais has driven him to madness. He has done terrible things. I know it. But I owe him everything. I cannot betray him. Do not ask me to. I never thought duty would taste so bitter. Stop him, Warden. Stop him from betraying everything he once loved. Please, show mercy. Without Loghain, there would be no Ferelden to defend. My lords and ladies of the Landsmeet, Tyrn Loghain would have us give up our freedoms, our traditions, out of fear. He placed us on this path, yet we should place our destiny in his hands? 
Must we sacrifice everything good about our nation to save it? A fine performance, Eamon. <laughs> but no one here is taken in by it. You would attempt to put a puppet on the throne, and every soul here knows it. The better question is who will pull the strings. Ah! Here we have the puppeteer. Tell us, Warden, how will the Orlesians take our nation from us? Will they deign to send their troops, or simply issue their commands through this would-be prince? What do they offer you? How much is the price of Ferelden honor now? Some of us are curious, Logan, about precisely what happened at Ostagar. So, one of Kalen's killers would dare speak of betrayal. You led our king to his death with your grandiose tales of griffins flying into battle. What's this? There is no slavery in Ferelden. Explain yourself. There is no saving the alienage. Damage from the riots has yet to be repaired. There are bodies still rotting in their homes. It is not a place I would send my worst enemy. There is no chance of holding it if the blight comes here. Despite what you may think, Warden, I have done my duty. Whatever my regrets may be for the elves, I have done what was needed for the good of Ferelden. Indeed, do we not owe it to Merrick to see his son on the throne? If he were a true son of Merrick, I would not hesitate to swear fealty to him. But I see nothing of Merrick in this pup. But enough of this. I have a question for you, Warden. What have you done with my daughter? You took my daughter, our queen, by force. Killing her guards in the process. What arts have you employed to keep her? Does she even still live? I believe I can speak for myself. <gasps> Lords and ladies of Ferelden, hear me. My father is no longer the man you know. This man is not the hero of Riverdale. This man turned his troops aside and refused to protect your king as he fought bravely against the Darkspawn. This man seized Kaelin's throne before his body was cold and locked me away so I could not reveal his treachery. I would have already been killed, if not for this Grey Warden. So, the Warden's influence has poisoned even your mind, Enora. I wanted to protect you from this. My lords and ladies! Our land has been threatened before! It's been invaded and lost and won times beyond counting! We Ferelden's have proven that we- But it's up to you. Will you face me yourself, or have you a champion? And now, lords and ladies of Ferelden, there is still a blight to defeat, and armies to gather. And I appoint this man to lead us in both. That's what it'll take, huh? Fine. The Warden! I'm with the Warden. Southreach stands with the Grey Wardens. Waking Sea stands with the Grey Warden. Dragon's Peak supports the Warden! Western Hills is with you, Loghain. Make her help us. I stand by Loghain. We've no hope of victory otherwise. I stand with the Warden. The Blight is coming. We need the Grey Wardens. Traitors! Which of you stood against the Orlesian Emperor when his troops flattened your fields and raped your wives? You fought with us once, Eamon. You cared about this land once before you got too old and fat and content to even see what you risk. None of you deserve a say in what happens here. 
None of you have spilled blood for this land the way I have! How dare you judge me! Then, let us end this. I suppose we both knew it would come to this. When we first met at Ostagar, I would never have thought so, but Ostagar... Seems like it happened in another lifetime to someone else. A man is made by the quality of his enemies. Marek told me that once. I wonder if it's more a compliment to you or me. Enough! Let the Landsmeet declare the terms of the duel. It shall be fought according to tradition. A test of arms, in single combat until one party yields. And we who are assembled, will abide by the outcome. Will you face me yourself, or have you a champion? It is you or me the men will follow. So, let us fight for it. Prepare yourself. Estimated you, Warden. I thought you were like Kaelin, a child wanting to play at war. I was wrong. There's a strength in you that I have not seen anywhere since Marek died. I yield. I didn't just hear you say that. You're going to let him live after everything he's done? Kill him already! Wait, there is another option. The Tairn is a warrior and general of renown. Let him be of use. Let him go through the joining. What does loyalty matter? We are what we are. The joining binds us to the Darkspawn. You know this. If you were to forswear your oath and flee today, You'd find yourself in the deep roads, or the blight lands given time. You'd seek them out, or they'd seek you. The joining itself is often fatal, is it not? If he survives, you gain a general. If not, you have your revenge. Doesn't that satisfy you? Absolutely not! Riordan, this man abandoned our brothers and then blamed us for the deed. He hunted us down like animals. He tortured you! How can we simply forget that? Joining the Wardens is an honor, not a punishment. Name him a Warden and you cheapen us all. I will not stand next to him as a brother. I won't!
Loghain is a traitor. We need him like we need to be stabbed in the back. Or have you forgotten how his being a great general didn't help the last time? I didn't want to be king. I still don't. But if that's what it takes to see Loghain get justice, then I'll do it. I'll take the crown. Listen to this. Can you see how disastrous a king he'd be? Putting his own selfish desires above the needs of his country? You can't seriously support him. And I thought the whole idea was to bring Loghain to justice. Funny how plans change, isn't it? You'd throw away a very fortunate alliance for petty revenge? Perhaps Ferelden is better off without you, Alistair. You can't do this. My father may have been wrong, but he is still a hero to the people. Honora. Hush. It's over. Stop treating me like a child. This is serious. Daughters never grow up, Honora. They remain six years old with pigtails and skinned knees forever. Father. Just make it quick, Warden. I can face the Maker knowing that Ferelden is in your hands. So it is decided. Alistair will take his father's throne. I have a recurring nightmare that sounds just like this. All right. Yes. I guess it's decided then. Honora, the Landsmeet has decided against you. You must now swear fealty to our king and relinquish all claim to the throne for yourself and your heirs. If you think I will swear that oath, Eamon, you know nothing of me. What kind of something? We cannot leave Ferelden in a state of civil war. We must have unity. If she will not swear fealty to you, Alistair, and renounce her claim to the throne, she is a threat to us all. What do you want me to do exactly? Kill her? I can't do that. I guess... Put her in the tower for now. Lock her up. Maybe we can find somewhere to send her. Later. Thank you, Alistair. You show me mercy that I would not have shown you. Very well then. Guards, take her away. <laughs> Your Highness, would you address the landsmeet? Oh, uh, that would be me, right? Um, <clears throat> I never knew him, but from all I've heard of my father, what defined him was his commitment to protecting this land. I was getting there. Anyway, the blight, yes. I may be Merrick's son, but I am also a Grey Warden. I took an oath. I swore I would stand and fight the Darkspawn, no matter the cost to myself. I can't break that oath just to wear the crown. I have to go with my fellow warden to face the Blight. When the Blight is over, I'll come back and take up my duties, whatever they are, as king. Until then, I think Al Eamon will have to be my regent. Then I can do Merrick's memory no less honor than you do. I accept. And may the Maker bless your efforts against the Darkspawn. My fellow Grey Warden will, I hope, take Loghain's place as the leader of my armies. Shall we finish this thing together? Everyone, get ready to march! It's going to take all of Ferelden's strength to survive this blight. But we will face it, and we'll defeat it! We'd better get going. Ferelden is depending on us.
You made me king. After all this is over with, they're actually going to put me on the throne. I'm still... I'm going to be the king. Congratulations. Congratulations? Why would you do this to me? How could you? I've done nothing but regret my blood since the day I was born. I don't want this. I never wanted this. I hate the very idea of it. I thought we were friends. You knew how I felt about this, yet you went ahead and did it anyway. Why? Yes, well, no. She would have executed me, so that would have been bad. I've just never thought of myself as a leader. I'm going to make a terrible king, you have to know that. How can I make decisions that are going to affect the lives of everyone in the kingdom? I guess I don't really have a choice in this now, do I? I'll do my best, of course, and I expect that you'll be there to help me, right? Good. Then it's settled. Al Eamon has left for Redcliffe. He says the army has gathered there and is almost ready to march. As soon as we're ready, we should head to Redcliffe ourselves. The blight awaits, right? Is that for me? Really? It's you, the Grey Warden. Andraste is mercy that you got here when you did. I thought for sure these monsters were going to get me. Just a few hours ago, not that long after everyone was evacuated to the castle, I thought I could make it to my home and back before they got here, but it took me too long to get down here. What a relief you arrived. I'm going to get out of here before any more of those things arrive. Thank you again. the 
Thank goodness. Some did, yes, but we were able to close the gates and kill the ones in the courtyard. I was told to watch for your arrival, Warden. Your comrade Riordan arrived just ahead of the Darkspawn attack. He has urgent news for you. I should take you to the hall right away, my lord. They'll be waiting for you there. It's a relief to see you unharmed, and you as well, Alistair. Or should I say your majesty? Uh, no. No, I wouldn't say that. Not yet, anyway. The darkspawn that attacked Redcliff were relatively few in number, I'm afraid. It was assumed the Horde was marching in this direction, but that is not true. Riordan tells us that the bulk of the Horde is in fact heading towards Denerim. They are perhaps two days away from the capital. What? Are we sure about that? I mean, if that's true... I ventured close enough to listen in, as it were. I am quite certain. There is, I'm afraid, one other piece of news that is of even greater concern. The Archdemon has shown itself. The dragon is at the head of the Horde. Make her preserve us. But we can't reach Denrim within two days, can we? It's too far. We must begin a forced march to the capital immediately, with what we have. Denerim must be defended at all costs. The Horde must be defeated, but the Archdemon is our true target. And only the Grey Wardens can defeat the Archdemon. That is why we must go. Then we march, and hope the army we've collected here gives us the chance we need. Al Eamon, how long before the army can set out? By daybreak. Then let's get them ready. I won't let all those people die without giving them a chance. I will give the orders at once, and will notify you the moment we are ready to march. That would be appreciated. Then if you and Alistair could meet me before you retire, we have Grey Warden business to discuss. I will have someone show you to your rooms. I suggest you all get some rest while you can. We'll need it. And what word have we from Orzammar? Has House Claret sent their men or haven't they? They're stalling, which is as good as a no. House Claret's feud with House Romald has flared up again since their son died in that Deep Roads business. So naturally they're pleading the need for self-defense. <laughs> Find time to start with that nonsense again. I've half a mind to... <sighs> Evening to you, Grey Warden. Didn't realize. 
realize you were still up and about. Right. Off to camp with both of you, and keep the drunkenness to a minimum. We have a long way to go yet. Pleasant evening to you, Grey Warden, and good fortune on the field of battle. listening. You've seen and touched Andraste's ashes. They are the holiest thing on this earth, the remains of the Maker's Chosen. I do not know if I am worthy to look upon her. Why shouldn't I? I don't understand. Then let us move on. Right here, old pal. Aye, all right then. What is your wish, Kadan? As you wish. What say you? Ah, fancy meeting you here. I heard rumors that Redcliffe was once again open for business, but my word, isn't this amazing? Such bustle. The Earl has kindly offered my son and I lodgings in exchange for supplies. I'm happy to help him. And you too, of course. If you have need of my wares, you have but to ask. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Things are coming to a head fairly quickly, aren't they? Are you ready? The last Grey Wardens in Ferelden. So much is expected from you. It hardly seems fair, either to you or to Alistair. I look at you sometimes, and you are so young. You face death every day. You know you are unlikely to live long. Does it frighten you? And you sacrifice, that others may live. Yes, the first blight in 400 years, and here you are, the fulcrum on which it all turns. Whatever happens, you will become legend. And if we should prevail, even if you die, you will live on in the memories of those you sacrificed everything for. And perhaps one day, they will forget but it will not erase what you did. Every new day that they see will be because of you, and nothing in this world will ever make that untrue. A Grey Warden through and through, selfless to the last, devoted to those you protect. I am honored to have served with you.
There you are. Let's go see what we ordered. You're both here. Good. You're new to the Grey Wardens, and you may not have been told how an Archdemon is slain. I need to know if that is so. You mean there's more to it than just, say, chopping off its head? So it is true. Duncan had not yet told you. I had simply assumed. Tell me, have you ever wondered why the Grey Wardens are needed to defeat the Darkspawn? That is exactly what it involves. The Archdemon may be slain, as any other Darkspawn. But should any other than a Grey Warden do the slaying, it will not be enough. The essence of the beast will pass through the taint to the nearest Darkspawn and will be reborn anew in that body. The dragon is thus all but immortal. But if the Archdemon is slain by a Grey Warden, its essence travels into the Grey Warden instead. A Darkspawn is an empty, soulless vessel, but a Grey Warden is not. The essence of the Archdemon is destroyed, and so is the Grey Warden. Meaning... the Grey Warden who kills the Archdemon... dies? Yes. Without the Archdemon, the flight ends. It is the only way. We keep it secret for the same reason the joining is kept secret. Who would become a Grey Warden if they knew the end that might await them? And yet there must be Grey Wardens. Without us there is no hope. In Blight's past, when the time came, the eldest of the Grey Wardens would decide which amongst them would take that final blow. If possible, the final blow should be mine to make. I am the eldest, and the taint will not spare me much longer. But if I fail, the deed falls on you. The blight must be stopped now, or it will destroy all of Ferelden before the rest of the Grey Wardens can assemble. Remember that. But enough. There will be much to do tomorrow, and little enough time to rest before it. I will let you return to your rooms. I will see you once the army is ready to march, then. I guess this ends soon one way or another. That it does, my friend. That it does. Do not be alarmed. It is only I. I did not come here to speak of sentimental things. I came here to speak with you. I have a plan, you see. A way out. The loop in your hole. I know what happens when the Archdemon dies. I know a Grey Warden must be sacrificed. And that sacrifice could be you. I have come to tell you that this does not need to be. I know a great many things. How I know is not quite as important as what I am offering you, however. I offer a way out. A way out for all the Grey Wardens that there need be no sacrifice. A ritual. Performed on the eve of battle, in the dark of night. Perhaps. That price need not be so unbearable, especially if there is much to be gained. All I ask is that you listen to what I have to offer, nothing more. What I propose is this. Lay with me, here tonight, and from our joining, a child will be conceived. The child will bear the taint. And when the Archdemon is slain, its essence will seek the child like a beacon. At this early stage, the child can absorb that essence and not perish. The Archdemon is still destroyed with no Grey Warden dying in the process.
Not at all. It will become something different. A child born with the soul of an old god. After this is done, you allow me to walk away. And you do not follow. Ever. The child will be mine to raise as I wish. This is what my mother intended when she sent me with you. She was the one who first gave me this ritual and told me of what I was meant to do. This does not surprise you, does it? Did you not wonder why Flemeth saved your life? Why she aided you? This is why. What is important is that I am offering this to you now. It will work, and it will save your life. As you wish. Ignoring that after but one night it could barely be called a child, no, it will not be hurt. It will be changed. Allow me to say that what I seek is the essence of the old god that once was, and not the dark forces that corrupted it. Some things are worth preserving in this world. Make of that what you will. I do not wish to tell you. The child will represent freedom. For an ancient power, a chance to be reborn apart from the taint. Is that not reason enough to do it? I will raise the child apart from the rest of society and teach it to respect that from which it came. Beyond that, you need know nothing else. No, you never will. This is all I ask in return for freeing you from the burden the Grey Wardens have placed upon you. Then you have decided? Caring for you, as I've come to? That was not part of the plan. But I cannot let what I feel interfere with what I must do. This is important to me. The fact that it may save your life makes me all the more determined to see it done. Please, do not cloud the issue. If you feel anything for me, then accept that it will make what we must do that much easier. After the Archdemon has been slain? No. No, you will never see me again. Refuse my offer, however, and I leave now. This is simply how it must be. A wise decision. Come, my love. Put the thoughts of the ritual aside and let us make this last night together one to remember. We have gathered all the forces we can. The Darkspawn Horde is sure to reach the capital before us. And so we must race to Denerim as quickly as we can. The lives of many thousands hang in the balance. We must not forsake them. You have gathered an army to replace the one lost at Ostagar, Grey Warden. Let 
let us pray that it will be enough. Before us stands the might of the Darkspawn Horde. Gaze upon them now, but fear them not. The man beside me is a native of Ferelden, now risen to the ranks of the Grey Wardens. He is proof that glory is within reach of us all. He has survived despite the odds, and without him, none of us would be here. Today, we save Denerim. Today, we avenge the death of my brother, King Caelan. But most of all, today, we show the Grey Wardens that we remember and honor their sacrifice. For Ferelden, for the Grey Wardens! Ah! 
Press forward! You've managed to fight your way to the gates. We're doing better than I hoped. That will change quickly. Bloody Nug Runners are outnumbered three to one! What are we to do now, Riordan? You have a plan, I assume? The army will not last long, so we need to move quickly to reach the Archdemon. I suggest taking Alistair and no more than two others with you into the city. Anyone you don't bring with you can remain here to prevent more Darkspawn from entering Denerim on our tails. We're going to need to reach a high point in the city. I'm thinking the top of Fort Draken might work. The top of... You want to draw the dragon's attention? We have little choice, though I warn you that as soon as we engage the beast, it will call all its generals to help it. I can sense two generals in Denerim. You may wish to seek them out before going to Fort Draken. I am sure that if we did slay those generals, it would stop the darkspawn in the city from doing a lot of harm. It may also waste resources trying to find them. The decision is up to you. There are already several units of our allies within the city by now. They may be able to come to your assistance if you call them, but their strength will be limited. Now, who do you wish to take with you into the city? Yes. Indeed. Indeed. Fair enough. Anyone else will need to remain here and assist in keeping more Darkspawn from coming in the gates behind us. Who will lead them? Fine. Let's just move into the blasted main event already. Good. That should be sufficient. Nothing you have done has prepared you for what you face now. May the Maker watch over you. So this is it then. All that we've been through has led up to this. Whatever happens now, to either of us, know that I am proud, infinitely proud, to have called you friend. Farewell, and may the Maker watch over you. So, this is it. Honor? <laughs> Nobody's looked at me and seen honor in a long time, Warden. You took in a drunken disgrace of an Orzammar warrior. You gave me a reason to fight, and the will to keep going. You helped me find the one woman in the sodding world who might put up with me. And you helped me get past Bronca so I could have someone new. I owe you a lot, Warden. I consider it a fine honor to die for you and your cause. Might, and we might not. I'm betting on not. Let the stone turn red from the blood of heroes. Today, I will be the warrior you taught me to be. So the Archdemon is next, is it? Part of me is glad that it has decided to leave me here at the gate, but the other part is apprehensive. I would almost say that I feel concern for something other than myself, even maybe for a soft, squishy companion. But that would be silly, wouldn't it? And, uh, do try not to get swallowed whole. If the beast were to fly about afterwards and poop it out, irony would dictate that it would land on me. I couldn't take it. Well then, I suppose this is it. Have fun storming the castle. Are you ready?
ready. We have reached the battlefield at last. I have done nothing. You have carried us this far. Do not doubt that. So this is it? This is the end? We've come so far. It's strange knowing that all our fates will be decided in a matter of hours. We stand on the precipice before the greatest battle of our age. I wonder if the heroes of old ever felt like this. I am not afraid. We go to fight for a good cause, and there is nowhere else I would rather be. You are a dear, dear friend, and I will stand with you, to whatever end. This day, we will forge a legend of our own. Heading off to slay dragons without me, hmm? Fine, fine. Say hello to the Archdemon for me. He never writes anymore. It's rather distressing. And do watch your back. No getting eaten, unless you think it's really important, of course. Before we head after the Archdemon, I want to say something. I know Morrigan's... what she did is supposed to save us, but who knows if she can be trusted? Or if we'll even survive long enough to take that final blow. So I just want you to know that it's been an honor fighting by your side. Let's find this Archdemon then, and kick its ass. So we head into the city together, as it should be. Once this is done, no matter how it turns out, I will be gone. You are aware of this, yes? I do not think that would be wise. Allow me to say only one thing before we go. I was foolish. This could have been so much easier, yet I cannot regret what was between us. I will always remember you, my love. Now, let us see this finally done. The Archdemon awaits.
you. The Maker sure gave you the gift of good timing, didn't he? There's a large group of Darkspawn approaching and the gates won't hold. We need your help. Uh, all right. I only hope there is time to... They're breaking through! Run, all of you! Run for your lives!
Beware! A large group of Darkspawn have broken away from the battle! They're charging this way! They'll be here any minute! Shall I send word that the gates are secured? Right away.
shall be done. As you say.
trap right ahead. Yes! Right ahead.
ahead. You need me? It's done. I shall do it, as you say. Enchantment? Enchantment!
Very well. Very well.
And then, it was over. With the Archdemon dead, the Darkspawn Horde quickly crumbled. Most fled back into the deep roads. They would remain a threat in the years to come. But the Blight had been ended before it had truly begun. Ferelden had been saved, and the entire kingdom rose up to joyously greet its new king. Grey Warden stood redeemed, and a new age had begun. But at what cost? My friends, we are gathered to celebrate those responsible for our victory. Of those who stood against the Darkspawn Siege of Denerim, there is one in particular who deserves commendation. The one who led the final charge against the Archdemon remains with us still. An inspiration to all he saved that day. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the hero of Ferelden, the first Grey Warden to defeat the Blight since Garahel four centuries ago. My friend, it is hard to imagine how you could have aided Ferelden more. I think it only appropriate that I return the favor. Is there any boon that you might request of Ferelden's king? If it is within my power, I will grant it. Now that's a very good point. I think we can begin with a monument here in Denerim, dedicated to the Grey Wardens who have fallen. Duncan, Riordan, all of them. And it is high time some scholars were collected to learn more about the Darkspawn. We'll face them again with the Dwarves as well as here. Let it also be known that the Arling of Amaranthine, once the land of Arl Howe, is now granted to the Grey Wardens. There they can rebuild, following the example of those who went before them. What are your plans? Will you remain with the Grey Wardens? That they do. I'm glad one of us is staying with them at least. Uh, there's a group of Ferelden citizens waiting outside to get a look at their hero. I suggest you make at least a brief appearance before they storm the gate. Just tell the guard at the door when you're ready. So, we made it. I'm impressed, aren't you? The odds were completely against one of us actually getting to the Archdemon. But of course you would make it. I knew you would. I just don't understand how you're still alive. I guess Riordan was wrong? I had no idea. I suppose that makes sense. Speaking of Morrigan, do you know where she went? I'm told she vanished right after the battle. No goodbyes or anything. Very dramatic. I don't imagine she'd be easy to find if she didn't want to be. Uh, at any rate, I can see Arleman giving me that look. More King stuff, I suppose. I can never wait. And if I don't get the chance some other time, thanks for everything. I'll let you get to your adoring public. 
They want to see the hero of Ferelden, and who am I to keep them waiting? It is over. I can barely believe it. You stopped the civil war and then defeated the Blight. On behalf of Ferelden, allow me to say thank you. It truly cannot be said enough. <laughs> so I'm learning. It's too bad that you aren't remaining here in the capital. The hero of Ferelden would have influence, but I understand. Myself, I will be remaining here to help Alistair. Tegan will take over the rule of Redcliffe, at least for the time being. Connor seems well enough, and Isolde refuses to speak of what happened. She says she never wants to go back. I cannot thank you enough for saving them. They are the joy of my existence. Tell me, have you noticed anything strange about the lad? He seems quiet. Ah, you are no doubt correct. It is my imagination, I am sure. But here I am, rambling on. I shall let you get back to your celebration, Warden. Enjoy it while you can. So it survived after all. My impression that all creatures made of flesh were hopelessly squishy was, uh, premature. It has made me revise my opinion of its kind, my kind. I am, or at least was, a dwarf. A creature of flesh. I have to keep reminding myself that. In fact, I think I may even try to become one again. Wynne has offered to accompany me to Tevinta to speak with the mages there. The circle of Ninmathrus has the largest collection of arcane knowledge in Thedas. If it is possible to reverse this process, then the knowledge to do so will be there, or that is my hope. And if not, then I will keep looking. I have nothing if not time, yes. I intend to return eventually. Unless I finally decide to destroy all pigeons everywhere. That may take a while, but otherwise I will come back. If it happens to one day see a tiny little dwarf who appears very nervous of being squished, that will be me. Until then, I wish it well. It, you, have been a fine friend. When I heard that my little brother was not only a Grey Warden, but also leading Ferelden into battle, I was surprised, to put it mildly. Father, he would have been so proud of you. I know I am. You've done good. I never made it to the Battle of Ostagar. We were still scouting in the wilds when we were attacked by a party of Darkspawn. Most of my men were killed. I woke up two weeks later in a chastened hut, wounded and feverish. By the time I was able to sneak out of the wilds, you were already marching to Denerim. I tried to get word to High Ever. You can imagine what happened, I suppose. Yes, I'm trying not to think too much about them. How was a greedy, traitorous bastard. I just wish I'd been there to help you kill him. At least Amranthine now belongs to the Grey Wardens. There's some justice in that, I think. I need to go back to High Ever. See if I can clean up the mess Hal made of it. I will see you soon, I hope. Good. High Ever won't be the same without everyone around. Take care of yourself, you hear? Or I'll find you and nag you like Mother did until you're ready to tear out your hair. So here we are. The conquering hero has won the day, and now he takes his bow and exits the stage. A fine ending. And my part was small. I'm happy to watch you receive the accolades, it's quite fun. You know, I can't help now but think of my vision. The Maker sent me to help you, and look what you did. It's a miracle. It truly is. I've been asked by the Chantry to return to the Urn of Sacred Ashes. I need to make sure it's protected. Maybe pilgrims can even begin going there again. I expect to leave a month from now with a small army of Templars and priests. It will be a grand adventure of my very own. I'm looking forward to it. At any rate, you should get back to the celebration. 
We can speak another time. I will be relieved when all this pomp and ceremony is done. Such events are perfect opportunities for assassins, after all. I can't help but expect the crows to appear at any moment. Which would be a welcome break, mind you. Eventually, with Thalysen dead, it may take them time to figure out what has happened, but they are like the tides, predictable. You know, it does occur to me that staying in one place is only going to invite the crows to find me that much quicker. While fun, that might eventually get complicated. You said earlier that you were planning on returning to the Grey Warden Fold soon. Is that true? And would you consider some company? You tend to get up to interesting things. You meet interesting people and then you kill them. I'm game to tag along if you are. And I promise not to get you into too much trouble. Uh, well, no more than you get me into, anyhow. <laughs> well then, since we're going to be leaving together, we can speak after you have been sufficiently paraded in front of the populace. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye on you and make sure no one gets a clear shot. Not without paying me a great deal of coin, anyhow. The hero of Ferelden. My, my. How does it feel? <laughs> I suppose it is at that. A blight defeated with the other nations barely becoming aware. Who could ask for better? I'm glad not to be on the receiving end of all this attention myself. I say, let the young have their fame. Not that I've gone without notice. Irving asked me to take over as first enchanter, but I don't wish to go back. Not after all this. Instead, I've decided to travel. Shale has expressed a desire to go to Devinter to look into a way to regain her mortality. And uh, I will join her. I doubt we'll meet again. But who knows? Live well, Warden. It is good to see you again. These people, they call you hero. It is a strange word, but I think I understand its meaning. The Arishok on occasion has declared a Kunari to be Kunoran Vel, one who serves as an example to others. Such examples are always made after their death, however, a death in service to the Kun. A living Kunoran Vel would be too proud. I would argue, had you not ended a blight, for such an accomplishment there may be allowances. What the human custom has in common with our own is that the declaration of a Kunoran Vale is a cause for much celebration. It is one of few occasions when the Kunari are permitted to engage in revelry. There is imbibing of spirits, public chanting, meditations abandoned. It is madness. It is interesting. It can take days for the Ben Hasrath to restore order. There may even be executions. I suppose I should tell you. I have decided to return to my people. Your quest is done, and thus so is my reason for accompanying you. Yes, it will be difficult to travel alone, after so much time spent with companions. It must be said. You found my sword and gave me a chance to restore my honor. I owe you a great debt. It has, that one of the Baz, a foreigner, would become known as Kadan to me. Unthinkable. Yet here it is. Perhaps I shall see you again one day. Until then, may you always find the path you seek. Farewell, Kadan. <laughs> Humans have a better taste for spirits than I thought. 
<laughs> the ale up here is actually good. Orzammar ale tastes like dirt in comparison. Probably because they put dirt in it. <laughs> Go figure. After what we went through, <laughs> I think I've earned it. I think you've earned it. So I guess you're heading off soon, huh? Leaving the city? I'm thinking I'll stick around myself, <laughs> at least for a bit. I'm getting used to that big sky up there. And I'm thinking I might just look up Felsi again, see where that goes. Ha! <laughs> I'll drink to that. Ah, well, enough babbling. That pot-bellied son of a whore Tegan said I'd pass out before drinking an entire barrel of pickle juice. I aim to prove him wrong. It's been good traveling with you, Warden. Don't get lost in the shuffle now. Are you ready, my lord? The crowds outside are getting restless. Right. I'll take you there now. Follow me. 